history of the enemy. It was a peaceful day, a beautiful day, yet the excitement was recognizable everywhere. That day, there was not a single soul on Earth that did not look to the sky and think about far distant galaxies. This was the day all of our lives changed forever. The day humanity was finally able to explore the galaxy. The day humanity was able to reach what was beyond the Milky Way and much further. A day that we should all remember as the very beginning of a new era. It all started with a quite ordinary looking student. His mind, however, was anything but ordinary. He spent day in, day out thinking about space travel. Until one day, he decided to make his life dream a reality. It took him 20 years, but in the end, he... After a ton of research, countless trials, and more failure than you can imagine, He finally finished his big invention. A drive system so strong, so fast, that humanity was finally able to reach even the furthest stars. No planet was out of reach anymore. No way too far. Oh well, it took another 10 years until the first spaceships were created that were actually able to utilize the drive system, without shattering into pieces that is. But from there on, humanity became unstoppable. Within the next five years, we produced half a dozen of this new kind of spaceship. 
Every single one was bigger and faster than the ones before. By the end of the century, there could be up to 4,000 people inside a single spaceship. Just another 10 years later, the spaceships were more like cities, giant and incredibly fast cities. It seemed like there was no limitation to these new kinds of traveling living habitats. And with these new technologies, and literally millions of people eager to go on a space adventure, there was nothing that could stop humanity from spreading all over the galaxies. Hundreds, maybe thousands of spaceships made their way into the cold, empty nothingness called space. All of them with just one goal in mind. Find another planet. One that was big enough to serve as a new base for more space exploration. One that was rich in minerals, so that we could use them to build houses and power our machines. One that was saved, so that we would not have to worry about environmental catastrophes. And last but not least, one that was Earth-like, so that we would be able to breathe air. Even though hundreds of units scattered all over the galaxies, None of them was able to find a single planet that was good enough to serve as a new home. Well, none is not quite right. There was one, one small ship that got damaged in an asteroid storm and unwillingly had to land on a tiny green planet. A planet so far away that no one else would ever come for their rescue.
The landing was very hard. Some would say it was more a crash than a landing. It was something close to a miracle that everyone on board actually survived it. Once landed, the crew had to face reality. Their spaceship would fly nowhere anytime soon. While everyone inside survived, the ship itself didn't. It was so badly damaged that it was clear it would never leave this planet again. And since the ship couldn't leave this planet anymore, the entire crew was trapped on this new unknown planet. They formed little exploration teams to scout their surroundings. They wanted to find out more about this unknown planet, about their new home. Austin Kane was a member of the first scouting team. He was a young man, barely more than years, He had never seen anything like this planet. Actually, he had never seen any other planet, at least not from this close. He was born and raised on a spaceship. And so far never had the possibility to leave the only home he knew and loved. But now, it was time. It was his first time to use the exit doors. His first time to venture into an unknown area. His heart was beating like crazy as the door opened. All of his friends told him how lucky he was that he was one of the first to visit their new planet. At this moment, as the door opened and the bright light blinded his eyes, he was not sure if he was lucky at He was scared. Nothing else. He didn't know how to handle the situation. He didn't know how to react. He wanted to turn around and run away. I 
hide himself inside the safe and well-known corridors of his home. But what would his friends say? His family? How could he? The one who was chosen to have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity just run away from it. In his mind, he could already see the sad and disappointed faces of his family and friends. He could hear his mother crying and see his father look away, ashamed of his son. He didn't want to be a coward. He needed to be brave. He needed to step out of this door, into the bright light, for his sake, for his family, for everyone on the spaceship.